Hello, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Eva. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and goodbye to Jay. Goodbye to Jay and Tita Ness. Bye. Bye. We are we are sending off uh, Nessie and Jay back home to the Philippines today. So so well, and then. We don't know when we're gonna see them back. And when are you gonna come back, Jay? Huh? When are you coming back? Hmm? Okay. Well, so today, July 18, Thursday. We have a very short gospel for today, but very interesting to, to understand. Okay. And uh, here, our Lord makes use again of images that are popular and common during his time. And. Um, you know, we will try to uh, understand what the imagery is all about. So Jesus said, this is from St. Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. Jesus said, come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. So what is the imagery that our Lord presents to us here? The image of the yoke. What is the yoke? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, Mia. Egg yolk. <laughs> Not quite egg yolk. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, okay, yoke. Yoke is that kind of... Uh, it's normally it's normally a, a, a piece of it's an instrument it's an implement normally made of wood that they put around an animal's uh, uh, neck around the neck area of a beast of burden see the animal the animals that they use for carrying carts or or, or plowing uh, the fields or um, you know um, or even um, uh, maybe horse-driven carriages, you know. Uh, that, that's 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 the kind of thing you put around here, around the neck of the animal that they used to pull. They used to pull whatever it is that they're pulling, whether it's a cart full of loaded with stuff or or the ones the animals they use for plowing um, fields. Right. So it's it's uh, it's something that you harness a beast of burden with. Okay. So it's a yoke. It's around here. So when you see an animal like that, you know that that animal is used for, for working, for, for very tough kind of work because he carries a load. He carries a heavy load around his neck and he's pulling. Okay? So sometimes you find those in, uh, in oxen. Sometimes um, I've seen horses with that too. And in the Philippines, you have carabaos that you know, carry that. right? So our Lord uh, likens... The mission that he has, that he came to earth for, and that he is inviting us to carry with him, he is likening that one, that kind of burden, so to speak, to a yoke. See, the image of the yoke that's very common, uh, I suppose, in his time. So everybody knew what, what a beast of burden was and what it does and that it has that yoke, right? So our Lord is inviting us, take my yoke upon you. Okay? Take it upon you. Put it on voluntarily and, and, and carry it with me. Because if you're carrying that burden with me, I guarantee you it's going to be light. Okay? It's going to be light. It's not really that heavy. And you know what? Sometimes, sometimes the, the yoke is is uh, is for is a double yoke it's for two two animals okay? so it's for two animals so it's just, it's that image that our lord wants to show us here do it with me carry the yoke with me carry that mission with me okay? it's an invitation for us to share in what mission what is the mission our lord is talking about what is the yoke huh sophia the mission of saving souls the mission of saving souls. Okay? Of course, 
That mission we will carry out not by dying on the cross the way that Jesus did, but we will carry it out by offering our daily work, offering our daily sacrifices, offering our many prayers all throughout the day for the many intentions that we pray for. The many intentions we pray for, including the forgiveness of sins, the forgiveness of our own sins, and the souls in purgatory, which we always pray for in the rosaries. See? And, you know, other intentions of people, like the sick people we've been praying for. See, those, all of those put together is, are all part of the yoke, the yoke carrying with Christ the burden of, the sweet burden of redeeming souls and helping souls go to heaven, see, through our own participation in the mission of Jesus Christ. See? That is why when we, when, we, uh, when we tell you to, when we encourage you to pray, see, and to, to pray for this, pray for that, or offer mortification, offer your sacrifices for this intention, that intention, we are all participating in carrying the yoke of Jesus Christ carrying that sweet burden that Jesus has invited us to carry with him and where and how did we receive this mission remind me again how did we receive this mission this invitation to participate in carrying this burden where in baptism see? in baptism so when we were baptized see? we were incorporated into Christ we were made part of the body of Christ right which is the church which carries that mission with it and we become part of that so we become participants of carrying that mission okay so that is what our Lord talks about here now now on top of all of this mission thing there is one very important mission that we have to really really pay attention to if we are praying for other intentions, we're mortifying ourselves for other intentions. There is one other important mission that we have to pay attention to. See? Like you have to pay attention to, right? And what is that mission? What is that mission? If 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 we are trying if we are participating in the mission of saving souls. What do you think is more important? Whose soul is more important for us to save? Shavi? Our own soul. Very good. Right? Our own soul. So we are uh, not only trying to save other souls or participating in the salvific mission of Jesus Christ to save others, but in so doing, we are also helping ourselves. We are saving ourselves. We are, we are trying to become saints right which is the which is the whole meaning of uh, the salvific mission it is for us to become saints and to make saints of other people now our lord says i understand that kind of task can be daunting sometimes it can be tiring sometimes we can get so overwhelmed and we think it's so difficult to become a saint <laughs> sometimes oh <laughs> Yeah, Amos also groaning, <laughs> right? It can be so difficult to become a saint, right? Why is it difficult? Why can it be difficult to become a saint? Huh? Why? What do we experience every day? Temptation. Well, okay, Joe, we have temptations, right? We have temptations every day. The devil doesn't want us to succeed. The devil is always there trying to tempt us to, to be bad, right? And then we have our own bad habits. We have our own bad tendencies. We have our own stubbornness. We have our own unwillingness sometimes to, to, uh, to uh, carry that burden, right? We drag our feet. We make all sorts of excuses, right? So all of these can render that task of seeking sanctity trying to become saints every day difficult it can be overwhelming sometimes you can feel discouraged right but what does our lord say come to me come to me all you who, who labor labor at what 
labor at trying to become saints. Eh? Come to me, all you who, are, who labor and are burdened, who are having a hard time, who are overwhelmed, who are impatient about not being able to improve yourselves right away. To those of you who might feel discouraged, those of you who feel the pains and the pangs of difficulty in your lives, come to me. Come to me. So what is our Lord telling us here? Let's run to Jesus when we find, when we find things hard. Run to Jesus because he will console us, because he will help us. He will help us carry that yoke in the first place. He's the one who is sharing it with us. We are just trying to carry it with Jesus, right? So what we need to do is to carry it with Jesus, not to carry it alone. See? It is to travel uh, the road of life carrying that yoke with Jesus, not doing it alone. So Jesus tells us, invites us, come to me. Tell me, tell me all of your problems. Tell me all of your difficulties. Share them with me. Share with me all of your struggles or your difficulties of being good. And I'm going to help you. Don't go it alone. Okay? Our Lord is saying, don't do it alone. Okay? Because in the first place, I'm the one who called you to this mission. Don't do it alone. We'll do it together. But you need to talk to me. You need to come to me. Okay? You need to come to me and tell me all about it. So that is the invitation of our Lord. And he says, I am meek and humble of heart. I am meek. I will understand you. I will forgive you your your uh, misgivings, your your shortcomings. I will help you. I understand that. I became a man too, like you. I understand how difficult it is. But you have to come to me. Come to me. The invitation to come to me. And you're going to find rest for your souls. The rest for your souls means... We're going to have consolation. We're going to, our Lord is our consolation. He's the one who's going to uh, show us and console us from all of these burdens and show us how easy it is really, how easy it is really, if we learn from His meekness and His humility. I am meek and humble of heart. Learn from me. Come to me. Learn from me. And if you learn to be meek and humble, which translated can mean you learn to be obedient, okay? meek, humble. If you learn to be meek and humble, that means you will be, you'll learn to be obedient. Then it will be easy. Then all your difficulties will be lightened. If you come to me, you be meek, you be humble, you know how to learn and you know how to be obedient. Okay, so we will go to him now. <laughs> we're done here and we're off to Mass. So we will go to Jesus and we will pray and we will unite ourselves to the intentions of the Mass today and pray for everybody's intention. Okay, have a good day everybody. Bye. Bye.